Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have episode number 3 of the Wolfsburg career modes on FIFA 19. Now, before we get into the video, uh, I'm going to be starting off with some transfers. But, like I said, before we get into it, if you could leave a like on the video to show your support and appreciation of the series so far. That would be greatly appreciated, of course. Um, comment your um, tr uh, more transfer suggestions. Now, I had a load in the... Um, like previous two episodes and as you can see there's only two players on my transfer list now at uh, targets that is because most of the players you guys have suggested um, are either a bit overpriced in terms of only buying one player or what the majority were were already transferred in this career mode like teams have already bought them so obviously you can't approach them which is really annoying because uh, I probably left it a bit too late to finally like s start signing players because they've already moved on in the window. So that's the only issue I've had at the moment with transfers. But I think for now, a new right back and a new centre mid slash cam is what we're going after. We've already got our two new strikers at the club. So I don't really think we need any more signings to be honest. Because uh, every other position seems okay in the preseason games I played. Um, so yeah, that's all for the um, transfers and stuff like that. If you could subscribe, uh, if you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. If you are new around here, and if you already are subscribed, then uh, I appreciate you as well. So let's get on. Let's get into this episode now. As you can see here, two players on the transfer list. We have got Tete, the right back from um, Lyon, and we have got Sanson from Marseille. Two uh, uh, French league players, and we uh, obviously someone left. Uh, no, sorry, there was. High demand for Tete. I've seen his name at least three times in the comment section in the past two videos. And Sanson, out of all the centre mid slash cams that were suggested, I don't know, he just seems like a like a decent player. He's only 24, so these are the two players we are going to be going after. Um, I am actually going to pay the release clause for Tete to make it easier for myself um, to actually sign him. So we are going to go do that right now. And as you can see here, moving on into... Um, the boardroom he wants to be an important player he'll probably he'll be starting games uh, I know we've got that William right um, right back who's only young as well like Tete's at 24 I do believe um, but I, uh, I I wanted a better solid right back to start um, but yeah moving on into the wages I'm gonna give him a little increase I'm gonna give him a, a 46 um, wage increase and then I'm gonna go with um, Let's go with a 650 bonus plus an actual bonus for, um, for say he scores five goals, I'll give him one million pounds, boom. Because he's not going to be scoring goals, but yeah, there we go. Happy days, Tete in there, into the club, new signing. Now Sanson, I think I'm going to offer 20, actually let me just check my balance. Ooh, okay, I'm going to give 20 free because it did say to offer a bit more than what he's actually worth 30 million oh my god okay hmm this could be interesting i might not actually have enough for him which is the worrying thing four million should be enough for all his wages and stuff they're not they're literally not going to sell him for less than that that is a that is really annoying how about 26 how about 26 if I can actually move all this stuff. Um, 26 and a half. Come on, please. We'll accept that. Ooh, let's go. Got a bit lucky there. Now, the only issue is, is his wage demands going to be more than 4 million in total? It shouldn't be. I don't see how it will be. Then, this is literally the last signing of, this, of the um, thingy. Important first team player. It wasn't crucial yet. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. We only have 3 million. Hmm. Five year deal, of course. I want to give him a release clause as well. Oh, he doesn't want one. Uh, okay. Am I going to have enough for his wage? Right. Right, so he has 41 normally. Oh my god. Let me give him 45. I'm going to have to give him like 900k. Plus, add a bonus for goals. That should be enough. I spent all my money on him. Yes, let's go. I, I probably overpaid, to be honest, but I don't really mind. Because um, I'm just happy to get them in the club now before our first game of the season. So, what we're going to do, 
Um, obviously, I said William. Uh, William, sorry, not Willian. I was trying to say Willian and William. So William is going to come out, and he's actually going to go straight on the bench for this guy. Um, and then Sanson, or well, he can go back up the, up there. Um, Sanson going to come in here. Who should I take off though? That is the question. Camacho's not great, so he's going to come out. Mali's going to come off, and there we go, guys. So that is the team. Castillo's in goal. Tete, the new signing right back. Uh, un Duo Kai, don't know how you pronounce that. He's at the centre back with Brooks. Um, Rossillon is going to be left back as well. He's a new signing for Wolfsburg anyway for this um, career mode. I, I didn't sign him, but he's just joined in real life. So Arnold, captain, he's going to be staying in the squad, of course. Uh, Gilavogi, CDM, great player. Sanson, the new signing. Um, Brichello, uh, he's been really good for me. I've really enjoyed using him in the uh, preseason games. Uh, and Tep on the left wing and De Jong the new signing up top so we do have a decent side now guys and this is going to be the squad that I will be putting in for the first game of the season which is going to be a tough one against Schalke to be fair Schalke are a decent side as you can see Schalke um, yeah anyway let's get into this first game of the, of the episode and of the new season Right guys, so we are going into the first game of the season against Schalke. Now, this is a big game to go in, uh, obviously the first game of the season. Not only is it the first game of the season, it is a big game um, in terms of the opponent we are playing. So, Schalke, you know, they're very, very well known Bundesliga side, um, as well as Wolfsburg, you know. But, um, yeah, it kind of seems like the kits are reversed. Um, like I thought Wolfsburg's kit was normally like... like like a lighter green like um, Schalke's third kit is or away kit or whatever it is um, but yeah I didn't realise Wolfsburg changed their kit until I actually started this series but we get the first chance of the game there with Intep really nice shot but unfortunately it does end up going wide um, you know it just just happens doesn't it um, anyway we're ma making some nice little movement here with the players um, I'm just getting the feel of the team you know nice ball off from the new signing Sanson to the captain Arnold who drills it into the top corner from outside the box and we do go 1-0 up within the first 10 minutes of this um, series in terms of uh, the league you know the, the first um, the first game of the season and it's the first goal for Wolfsburg and it comes from the captain um, <coughs> voice crack there that was very bad <laughs> but anyway um, yeah the um, captain Arnold's getting us the first goal 10 minutes in and we're off to a rock and start here against a very tough opponent. Anyway, two minutes later, we're going for more goals here. Um, Brichello, um whips it in. Uh, in Teb, I thought he was going to win it because he managed to get the right side of the defender. But unfortunately, um, yeah, he, he couldn't get the header away and they clear it out. Tw uh, 20th minute now. Um, they're playing some nice little um, pass and move football here. And it ends up with um, Calegri, I think his name is. Uh, he does a nice step over there. I don't know how I didn't tackle him. And plays into the striker, shoots, keeper saves it, very comfortable. And we do uh, move on into the 26th minute now. Uh, Intep, nice ball into Arnold. Gets tackled, unfortunately. Tried to win it back with Intep, but uh, we, we just couldn't make that tackle. They're playing the, the one-touch pass, and the AI does on ultimate difficulty is so annoying. But Arnold there, winning the ball back. Plays a lovely through ball through the gap to De Jong, the new signing, the striker, gets his first goal of the season and for his new club in the Bundesliga. Really, really happy that he got on the score sheet in his first game. Because you know what it is, normally new signings, especially strikers, you know, sometimes it takes a while to get used to them or getting used to their new club and that. So it was really good for him to get his first goal in the first game instead of it being 10 games down the line. Anyway, um, clear the ball here and um, ends up bouncing back to one of their players and then somehow um, it comes to the striker. Uh, Uth, uh, however you pronounce that. Keeper makes a great save, Castiles, but unfortunately the rebound does go back to him and then he just powers it into an empty empty net. Anyway, Sanson does really well to stay on his feet here after dribbling past one of the defenders. Through ball into Intep, he swings the ball eventually across to um, Brichello, who unfortunately could not um, get his toe with the sliding um, attempt, if you want to call it. Um, so yeah, we have tried to get the ball um, back in with De Jong, but unfortunately we couldn't uh, manage anything with that. And they've hit us with a nice counter-attack here. Um, currently down the wing, uh, does a nice little bit of skill, uh, gets the ball into the middle of the park, uh, plays it inside. Surely they'd score, but somehow they don't. And it bounces everywhere, ends up to the striker, who, well, fortunate enough for us, completely bottles it and puts it wide. 
just before half time and Tep drives on in um, Gilavogi plays it all the way through to Brokello. Um really nice save from uh, Farman uh, right into the bottom corner because that probably would have gone in if it was any closer anyway corner whipped in it wasn't actually a bad corner it, uh, the ball just didn't go in the back of the net uh, unfortunately and that was the half time break so yeah really really positive start for us even though we did concede one goal uh, we scored two we're in the lead uh, captain scoring and our new striker scoring so it's um yeah it's been a positive first half for us in this um first Bundesliga game so Schalke has kicked things off in this half but we won the ball straight back with um I think that was Sanson who um played the ball to Govogi uh in down to Intep in Tep, and then uh he gets slide tackled and the ball does go out for a corner this corner comes in not a bad delivery just not many players near the front post um which is where I was aiming it for Govogi and I think I think that was Brickello who had a nice little link up play there. Um, unfortunately, his shot was saved by Farman with a really nice save again. Dijon going in on goal here, another great save from Farman. He's he's literally kept Schalke in this game, and he did throughout the whole game. He just he was just so good um, in terms of saving shots. And cool, Gilavogi, if that went in, that would have been the contender for goal of the season already in the first game. Let alone. Um, like the the first like few episodes, like it, it would have gone in. If it would have gone in, it would have definitely been up there. Anyway, moving on into the 56th minute, Brickello just can't get the ball under his feet. He does get another chance here, and he completely skies it over the crossbar. We could have been three one up there, but we couldn't convert. Anyway, ball gets played over our back line. Uh, we have to deal with it by laying it back off to the goalkeeper with a really nice um, chested pass, just to secure the ball. And we move down into the 80th minute now. Brickello, great strike. Farman, another great save. He's been probably Schalke's man of the match, even though he's conceded two. Uh, our other striker who's just come on, Kronto. Um, he, unfortunately, you know, again, Farman saved. Front post, delivered in. Bounces around. Farman, another great save to catch that one. Um, he's, he's just, I might have to buy him in the next window. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'm only joking, but anyway, um, nice link-up play here into the middle. Uh, Malus came on as well, plays the ball into Kronto, Kron, uh, Kutron. I don't even know how you pronounce this guy's name. It's really bad. I should probably search his name on like Google Translate or something. Anyway, Brooks makes an unbelievable tackle um, before while they were counter-attacking us. It's just as well the um, full-time whistle did go. Otherwise, they could have grabbed the late equaliser there. But anyway, moving on into. The last bit of the episode, and it is going to be deadline day. I know at the start of the episode, I think I did say about offering me more suggestions in terms of players, but I have no money left, and it's deadline day, so the next episode will be past the window day. Anyway, um, we've got a loan offer here for our, one of our young left mids. He's 20 years old. Um, I actually haven't used him, um, so I don't think I will either. Um, so I did actually loan him out instead of using him, because I don't think he'll actually get used within the next two years or two seasons so I did decide to loan him out and eventually um, you will see that he does in fact get loaned out as it said up there um, to I can't remember what club it was um, Gostep I don't even I think that's a Turkish league side I'm not actually too sure on that one and uh, we move on into the last few hours of the window now I don't, we don't make any signings that's for sure I don't think I sell anyone either um, I think, obviously it's going to take, yeah, I don't think I do any more deals. Last hour of the window, yeah, you don't anyway, yeah. So, the deadline ended, and this is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment um, your thoughts and opinions on the video down below, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Until next time, guys, I will see you guys in a bit.